I decided to find the best pocket camera for real night shooting. And I started with two action cameras, the DJI Action 5 Pro and Insta360 Go Ultra. I went out in the fog about one hour before the sunrise, when everything was still completely dark. The DJI Action 5 Pro has one over 1.3 inch sensor and a special super night mode designed for extreme low light. The Insta360 Go Ultra uses a one over 1.28 inch sensor slightly larger than DJI with its pure video and start shooting modes, both claiming to boost brightness and clarity at night. But in reality this kind of darkness is a nightmare for any small action camera. Both shoots with full of noise and compression artifacts. You could see the road, the fog and some outlines, but details were gone. The grass looked smoked, shadows were crushed and overall the image felt like a moving painting. The DJI kept the image brighter and slightly cleaner, but it also flattered out the contrast. The Insta360 looks more natural and cinematic, but darker make it even harder to recognize details. Both are usable, but the night is definitely not their strongest side. And just a note, I didn't include the DJI Awesome Pocket 3 in here. Even though it's one of my favorite cameras, it doesn't have a super night mode only a general low light option. It performs well in dim light, but not in complete darkness like this test. Next, I tried two smartphones, the iPhone 16 Pro and Xiaomi 15 Ultra. These two handle slow light using a combination of big sensors and a powerful AI image processing. The iPhone 16 Pro footage looks smooth and cinematic, with balanced exposure and control highlights. Its stabilization and control tuning make even dark scene look visually pleasing. But the Xiaomi 15 Ultra pulled ahead in pure visibility, especially on the texture and fine details. You can actually see the grass, rocks and fog layers, even if this near total darkness. That's mainly because of its one inch sensor, which gives it an edge over the iPhone. Both phones did an impressive job for handheld night footage, but they're still limited by how much real light they can physically capture. And then came the biggest surprise on this entire test, the Sigma CNV Pro night vision device. At first I didn't expect much, I've used night vision gear before, most of them are low resolution, infrared only and practically useless beyond a few meters, but this one was completely different. The Sigma CNV Pro records in 4K and is powered by a Sony Starvis 2 starlight grazed CMOS sensor, one of the most advanced low light sensor available for compact cameras. It's designed specifically to capture detail in near darkness and it absolutely delivered. Even without infrared, the footage looked clear. You can see trees, the horizon, the road, even textures that no other camera picked up. It's like the world suddenly reappears from total blackness. And when I turned on the infrared mode, it became even more impressive. Bright, detailed and perfectly usable even when my eyes couldn't barely see anything. What shocked me most how practical this device is. It's not just a night vision viewer, it's a real recording camera, it can shoot both videos and photos and switch between natural and infrared modes with a single button. The image feels sharp and surprisingly dynamic for something under $300. The Sigma CNV Pro also comes with a built-in torch and even as SOS pulsing light if you even need to signal for help. The USB and microSD port are sealed so rain fog is not an issue. On the back there is a small display and in the menu you can control the brightness, frame rate, the resolution or connect it via Wi-Fi to your phone for remote control. It also has a thermometer which is surprisingly useful for outdoor trips and also the 8x zoom that works like a real binoculars. The battery life was outstanding. After about 30 minutes of continuous filming the indicator didn't move at all. The thing is built for long night outdoors. There are of course some downsides. It doesn't have any image stabilization, so handheld video can shake a lot. For photos a tripod is almost mandatory, since even a tiny movement can blur the shot. But considering its low price, this Sigma CNV Pro model absolutely destroys everything else in true darkness. It's the only device in this test that can actually see what the human eye can't. Even when all the cameras turn the scene into black frame, the CNV Pro kept showing real details. It's not just better night mode, that's a different kind of vision. Finally, I also tested a thermal vision device from Bresser. It's not a camera in the traditional sense. It doesn't record the light, but heat. You can't get cinematic footage from it, but it's a powerful tool for locating living beings or heat sources in a total darkness. I actually used this device this summer while searching for a lost dog in the mountains at night and instantly showed warm shapes even through the fog and bushes. It's not made for artistic shots, but for rescue or security is perfect. So after all these tests, the conclusion is simple. 
Action cameras, great for the day, limited for night. Smartphones, impressive in low light, but still rely heavily on software. Night vision and thermal devices, that's where true night photography begins. The Sigma CNV Pro turned out to be the real winner here. It's compact, powerful, affordable, and works in situations where every other camera simply gives up. If you want to actually film what happens in complete darkness, this is the tool that makes it possible. Thanks for watching. If you found this comparison useful, hit the like, subscribe, and check out my next video. See you soon, and keep filming even when the world goes dark.